hope you can see me over this lectern. I am a bit on the short side. Um, I, I was asked by the team that's been organising today's summit to really get things going by giving people a quick reminder of some of the things that have been going on around Kirklees since we had the last summit back in September 2010. Yes, I am the person with the longest title around here in Kirklees, now Creative Economy and Community Sector Support Manager, a bringing together really of the creative sector with the voluntary and community sector, recognising that a lot of issues are shared by both sectors. But anyway, let's start off the doom and the gloom that is everywhere. We all know this stuff, don't we? So I'm just going to whip through it. There's high unemployment. There's rising youth unemployment, there's a global financial crisis, national debt, public sector cuts, less discretionary income for all of us, and the list just goes on and on and on. Are you the type of person, when you look at that glass, you kind of go, oh my God, the glass is half empty? Because today, we're not allowing anybody in this space that's a glass half empty person. We're about glass half full. And I actually downloaded, does anybody know the Morecambe and Wise song, Positive Thinking? If you don't, I've got my iPod in my bag and I'll play it to you afterwards. But basically, today is about positive thinking and another Morecambe and Wise classic. It's about bringing a sunshine. So... What's the good news? What's been going on? Well, actually, there is still funding and contracts out there, and Kirklees-based organisations are getting the money. I don't know if you know this, Shebang Theatre Adventures over in Slathwaite have been awarded half a million pounds from the big lottery so that they can keep going working with children with physical learning and sensory disabilities and their families for the next five years. LBT won their round of the Jubilee People's Millions for their Luddites programme and we are very proud to say got the most votes in the region that week. Now, I've put this one up. Um, I know this is a bit contentious because not everybody was successful, but still, eight organisations in Kirklees were awarded National Portfolio Organisation status by the Arts Council. And also, we've had a new innovative project started. Culture Club by Open Art is this wonderful project funded by the Council's Community Partnerships, which is engaging more people over the age of 55 with the arts. Hoot and Artists in Mind have this wonderful partnership at the moment delivering out of the blue and continue to be funded by South West Yorkshire Mental Health Trust and Adult Services at Kirklees Council. Dewsbury Arts Group Amateur group over in Dewsbury have their own studio space. They raised the money from area committee, but also their members got out there and raised the funding, and they've been able to extend and improve their facilities and make them more accessible for more people in the community. The Balbia Singh Dance Company have been selected as one of the iMove projects for the Cultural Olympiad in the region and have the most fascinating project, if you haven't heard. This is a mixture of Kathak dancing with synchronised swimming. Balbia's there at the back if you want to find out more, but I can't wait to see this one. And also, Chol and Proper Job have got together and been awarded the regional contract for a national programme, Somewhere Too, which is developing young people as cultural leaders and matching them up with facilities, with resources, so that they can realise their creative ambitions. And some plaudits. Marston Jazz Festival won Best Jazz Festival in Yorkshire at the Jazz Yorkshire Awards in 2010 and a piece of work that they commissioned for the 2010 festival uh, by the composer Tommy Evans, if I've got that right, um, was, um, he, that piece was awarded Best Contemporary Jazz Piece at the British Composers Awards. Helena Sharpley, that's based over in North Kirklees, won the WOW Award for the second time at the British Craft Trade Show. 
And also, LBT has been assessed as outstanding by the Arts Council. We need to be really proud that we have a facility like this. But it's not just a building. LBT is out there working in the community. So lots of pictures there showing the diversity of what's going on at the moment. But some other achievements. HCMF continues to have its concerts broadcast on Radio 3. Huddersfield and Dewsbury are regularly mentioned on Classic FM because the Orchestra of Opera North, which runs the um, orchestral programme in partnership with the council, is now Classic FM's orchestra in residence. And this, a 27% increase in attendances at orchestral concerts since September. Culture Club, 176 members and growing on a weekly basis. And I think Rachel Massey that runs the club is here today. So there she is if you want to find out more about Culture Club, particularly if you're over the age of 55. Um, there's been a partnership between LOCA and the PCT for a number of years, which means that hundreds of children in, over, in 20 schools have been benefiting from working with artists, but focusing on their own emotional development. Did you know, work by Kirklees artists this year was bought by David Hockney and Stella McCartney. The Creative Bubble was established, which is a social networking site for creative businesses. And Robin Widowson's here if you want to talk to him more about that. We, this is a really conservative figure. We reckon that at well over 100,000 people have attended events in Kirklees, outdoor events and festivals um, over the last year. Um, Mark Milnes is here, I think, somewhere. Talk to him about the Dewsbury Arts Wall he's created at Dewsbury Library. And also, he's got Batley Art Gallery up and running again with the most fantastic programme of exhibitions by local artists and community groups. We know that when the Home Firth Arts Market came to the Festival of Light, over 5,000 people in three days went into Huddersfield Art Gallery. And I've got to say, a week later, when I went back to buy some presents for Christmas, there was hardly any work left because so much of it had been sold. And then Hoot had the most magnificent trip to South Africa. So Kirklees based organisation went out to South Africa, performed there and shared their experiences of working with users of mental health services and just working with people to improve their mental well-being. And the biggest achievement for all of us, we're still here. We keep talking about doom and gloom, we keep talking about cuts, but in the end we've survived and we're here today. Right. <laughs> This is a plant that actually exists in our office. <laughs> Don't know what it says about us. We obviously kill off plants. I've put it up there because I have to admit there are some days I feel like that plant. I'm in this office environment which is killing me. It's soulless. It doesn't encourage creativity. But there are sometimes, there are the comments that come through where I begin to understand why we do what we do. And those nutrients are fed through to me. And hopefully today, you will feel some of those nutrients and will be able to grow. But I just wanted to share some of those comments with you. We asked some of the older people that were attending our lunchtime concerts what it meant to them to come. And this is Catherine and Mary, age 73. The music's wonderful. And if you're feeling a bit down, it's so uplifting that you feel better for coming. Or, this is an anonymous woman, but it gives me a reason to get out of bed. And I enjoy the music and feel better for it. You can talk to people and it gets me out and about. It makes a nice day out. That's Alan, aged 89. But the next one is actually from the local projects that have been taking place in schools. This is from the TAMS work, and I'll read this one out. This comes from a member of staff in a school. I've known Y for a long time. I've worked with him in a small group every week. He never spoke to me. He never participated in the group. He'd have his head down. Now, since taking part in the drama project, 
He's there, his hands up, he wants to contribute. He comes and finds me, he tells me things and he's just chatting, chatting. He's visibly grown, he's much more confident. All the teachers have noticed he has developed more confidence. I think we need to be proud of what we're doing and what we're giving to the people of Kirklees. And I'm hoping that by the end of today, I've become that beautiful flower and I feel re-energised and flourished and I hope you'll feel the same too. Thank you.